All right, let's display the XY data that's found in the CSV file. First, we should open it and inspect the data. And you'll see here that we've got um, two different sets of coordinates. We've got B stand for banding, the latitude and longitude coordinate pair, and then the recovered uh, latitude and longitude mapping where each bird was recovered. Um, so you're going to plot up the XY data twice, once using the banding locations and once using the recovered locations. But I want you to take a look at these values. And you should notice right away that these are all very small numbers, um, 48.6, 44.4. So for a data set that's covering all of North America, these can't be in units of meters. And uh, we're being told in the header that this is latitude and longitude. Now, you can't always trust these because people sometimes use lat long interchangeably with XY, vice versa. Um, but because they're small numbers, we know that these have a unit of degrees. And therefore, no matter what we want to do with the data secondarily, if we want to measure distances or areas, um, we have to first tell ArcGIS that these belong to a geographic coordinate system so they plot up in the right place. Okay, so we right click on the table and simply display XY data. Here's um, the input. We're going to call it banding. I've already done this once. Um, and then X is this axis. And so that's going to be a change in longitude. And Y is going to be a change in latitude. And that's how I remember the difference between these. Um, our coordinate system we know is the North American datum of 1983 from looking inside from the bird banding laboratory. So we can go to North America and then USA and Territories and choose NAD 1983. Okay, run that and we would expect to see a bunch of points up in the northern part of North America. Um, if your points aren't drawing here, you may be flipped latitude and longitude. Um, I like to always look at the properties of the data set and make sure that um, I have logical extent values. So this is the north, south, east, westernmost points of the data and the units that go along with the uh, coordinate locations. Uh, and then we can see here that we have a geographic coordinate system and the one that we just in input. 